Steve, I love you, buddy. All right, let's watch this. in Dusseldorf, and that is why they call me Wolf. Don't be stupid, be a smarty. Come and join the Nazi party. I never talk about bad taste. Come on, let's get out of here before they kill us. Myself, I'll to me. I'm the crowd who's out to change our history. I'll myself raise your hand. There's no greater dictator in the land. Everything I do, I do for you. If you're looking for a war, here's World War II. I'll myself. Raise your beer. Every hotsy totsy Nazi stand and cheer. Hail myself. Hail myself. Stand and cheer. Hey, 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 hey,
just a paper hanger. No one more obscure. Got a phone call from the Reichstag, told me I was Führer. Germany was blue. Oh, what I want to do? Hitched up my pants and conquered France. Now Deutschland smiling through. Oh, it ain't no mystery if it's politics or history. The thing you gotta know is everything is so late 1920s, the German economy is doing well. After the hardship of the years following World War I, economic growth eases the situation for many Germans. Until disaster strikes. What then happens is, of course, the world economic crisis between 1929 and 1933. Some businesses go bust. But of course, most famously of all, the Depression brings massive unemployment. Even according to the official figures, something like one in three of the German workforce is unemployed. The real figure is probably between 40 and 50 percent. It was a very, very bad time. We had a bad blood. Also und alles war so knapp. Man redete nur vom Hunger. Es war furchtbare Armut. Da kam, täglich kamen die Arbeitslosen, dann musste man stempeln. Nicht? Und da standen die bis hier oben, hier oben an der Kreuzung. Bis da unten die ganze Grabenstraße runter, nicht täglich. 
wir haben damals gesagt, die Eckensteher. Ne? Äh, da standen so die Jugendlichen, die trafen sich dann morgens und hatten äh, nichts zu tun. Und die Arbeitslosen, das waren dann eben die Kommunisten hauptsächlich, weil die waren organisiert. Und die gingen vorbei, ich sehe sie noch am Uwiring, Hunger, 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 mit den Schlägermützen. Alles war marschieren. Es kamen dauernd solche Märsche von irgendwelchen Parteien. Marching is also a favorite occupation of the increasingly powerful Nazi party. Their affiliation increases dramatically in these times of economic hardship. National Socialism was declining in the 1920s. By 1928, they polled a total of 2.6% of the total vote. And they seemed to be out. And then came the big economic crisis, the world economic crisis in 1929, and that completely changed the situation. Politics is becoming more and more radical, both on the extreme left and on the extreme right. Then, when the crisis is at its climax in 1932, a crucial election is held. Also, ich erinnere genau, dass wir eigentlich ständig Angst hatten, wir würden so wie in Russland den Kommunismus kriegen. Ne? Es ging um ein Haar zwischen Kommunisten und Nazis. The Nazis do extremely well in this election. They win a third of the votes. Adolf Hitler's Nazi party now holds the most seats in Parliament. Warum sie ihn gewählt haben? Ja, weil er so viel versprochen hat. Wenn, wenn sie nichts mehr haben, sie haben keine Arbeit und sie wissen nicht, wie sie leben sollen. Und jetzt kommt einer und verkündet ihnen, was er alles anstellt und was bisher alles falsch gemacht ist. Das, das, das Falsche haben die Leute ja empfunden, weil es ihnen nicht gut ging. Sonst, sonst hätten die dem gar nicht zugehört. People voted for National Socialism not because of its anti-Semitism and not because of its uh, dictatorial uh, ideas, but because of the terrible economic situation and the promises of the Nazis that they would change all that. On the 30th of January 1933, Hitler is appointed Reich's Chancellor. He is now the head of government. Nobody knows it yet, but a new era is about to start. In September 1919, known as, known also known party. Justin, this political party. <laughs> Yo, I want to do it. Fine, you can read it. Also, you're reading really much. So, for our history video project, we're doing number one. Analyze the conditions and consider the context to produce a single party Nazi state. So mainly we'll be talking about <laughs> the name was changed in 1920 to the. It was changed to the. <laughs> it does the same thing, but. Nationalist Socialist German Workers Party, abbreviated NSDAP. The political party was formed and developed during the post World War I era. It was anti-Marxist and was opposed to the democratic post-war government of the Weimar Republic and the Treaty of Versailles. That's a fork. <laughs> and it advocated 
e extreme nationalism and pan-Germanism, as well as virulent anti-Semitism. What? Hitler's rise can be considered to have been in March. What was that, viewers? So boring. No, let's edit this part out. Let me just. This is such a boring. Hitler's rise could have been um, could have been considered to have ended in March 1933 after the Reichstag adopted the Enabling Act, Enabling Act of 1933 in that month. President Paul von Hindenburg has already appointed Hitler as Chancellor on the 30th of January after a series of parliamentary elections and associated backroom intrigues. The Enabling Act, used ruthlessly and with authority, virtually assured that Hitler could hereafter constitutionally exercise dictatorial power without legal objection. So this gave way to his rise for power. Ah. On March 10, 1931, with street violence between the Rat Front and the SA spiraling out of control, breaking all previous barriers and expectations, Prussia reenacted its ban on brown shirts. Days after the ban, SA men shot dead two communists in a street fight, which led to a ban being placed on the public speaking of Goebbels, who sidestepped the prohibition by recording speeches and played them to an audience in his absence. Ernest, Ernst, Ernst, Rahm, Ernst Rahm, in charge of the SA, put Count Micah von Heldorf, a convicted murderer and vehement anti-Semite, in charge of the Berlin SA. The deaths mounted up, with many more on the Rot Front side, and by the end of 1931, the SA suffered 47 deaths, and the Rot Front recorded losses of approximately 80. Street fights and beer hall battles resulting in deaths occurred throughout February and April 1932, <laughs> all against the backdrop of Adolf Hitler's competition in the presidential election, which pitted him against the monumentally popular Hindenburg. In the first round on March 13th, Hitler had polled over 11 million votes, but was still behind Hindenburg. The second and final round took place on April 10th. Hitler, winning 36% of the votes, lost out to Paul von Hindenburg, who won 53% of the votes. At this time, the Nazi party had just over 800,000 card, 800, card-carrying members. Three days after the presidential elections, the German, Ger German, <laughs> the German, the German government banned the NSDAP paramilitaries. <laughs> the first source <clears throat> that we consulted originates from a book entitled Hitler, A Study in Tyranny, written by Alan Bullock, who is accredited his credited historian and wrote many books about great leaders. The purpose of this source is to historically study the life of Adolf Hitler and recount the events that made him such a great leader. The value is that it comes from a valuable source, provides important information on the life of Adolf Hitler, and it has a balanced review of Hitler's life. The limitations include that it is not a 100% bias-free source, it does not provide insight from other places outside of Germany, and it mainly focuses on Hitler and not the revolution as a whole. The second source that we consulted originates from another book entitled The German Dictatorship, Origins, Structure, and Consequences of National Socialism by Karl Diedrich Brucker. The purpose of this book is to tell the story of Adolf Hitler, his rise to power, and the successes and failures of the Nazi state as a whole. The values are that it provides factual information about the political parties that Hitler was involved in, it comes from a credible source, and it is largely based on facts and unbiased. The limitation is that it does not include views from other countries, and it was written well after Hitler's rule, and so it is largely based on secondary sources. The third source that we consulted originates from an article on a history website entitled Hitler, the right the Rise to Power by Stephen Tung, a longtime history teacher at a Catholic university school in Dublin. The purpose of this article is to inform readers of the causes of, of and subsequent events that led Hitler and the Nazis to power. The value of this source is that it is from a trusted source, a, st a history professor. It provides factual information about the times, and it is written on second-hand sources, it, it, uh, and it is largely informative. The source is limited because it contains underlying bias and is written based on second-hand sources as it is published far after the event has occurred. 
The first three sources were secondary sources, and now for our primary sources. The first primary source, source that we consulted originates from Hitler's own book, Mein Kampf, written and published by Hitler written by Hitler and published in 1925. The purpose was for Hitler to outline his political ideology and his plans for Germany's future. The values of this source is that it is a primary source and it is a first-hand account. It shows the thoughts and mindset of Hitler at the time and it provides a different viewpoint than most sources of the time of this time period. The limitations are that it is largely biased because Hitler is writing it and it does not include other perspectives. The final source that we consulted originates from a New York Times article from the days when the Nazis were gaining power entitled Hitler endorsed 9 to 1 in poll on his dictatorship but opposition is doubled written by Frederick T. Birchall. The purpose of this source was to provide information to the readers about the events that were happening in Germany and around the world at the time. The values are that includes statistics, which do not contain bias, and it is from the days when the Nazis were ruling. It shows an international perspective of the rise to power in Germany, and it is based on other primary sources of the time, including interviews from certain um, political leaders and other authoritarian figures in Germany. The limitations are that it does not show the German side of these successes and contains the bias of the writers. Was formed and developed during... Ooh, we could film... Developed hey. during... <laughs> it was World War One era. All right. Fuck. Marxist. Yep. <laughs> he prepares himself for the challenge ahead. Hitler. No! So close! The defeat of Hitler is met! What? Is that gonna play? You're so lucky. That should have been a 7 k That should have been a 7 play. So, um, for our history video project, we'll be teaching you about question number one, which says, analyze the conditions. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Stop messing it up. Focus. Okay. All right, I'm actually going to do this. Okay, I'm actually going to go downstairs and get some food for us. Okay, okay. we'll focus then. See ya. I have one in your shotgun, too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you have, like, a picture of my toe. That's good, but I'm completely full. For Mangus Barn? You want to try? You want to try? Uh, Here you go. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, oh god, what the hell? <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Where's Steve? Does Steve want some? Steve! Yo, what up, Steve? Come here. Steve's just chilling. Mmm. Tastes like a Danish. I don't know what Danish tastes like. This. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. You ready? Hey, oh. whenever, whenever we say Hitler, you should flash a picture of you and Jack Thomas Hitler on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so funny. I'll be funny.